Hello friends, myself Aradi Mahajan presenting my video on solution of one dimensional heat flow equation. Uh, let us solve the problem. Solve partial differential equation uh, dou u by dou t is equals to a square into dou t u by dou x square subject to conditions. Uh, boundary conditions are u of 0 t is equals to 0 and second u of l comma t is equals to 0 for all values of t. These two are the boundary conditions and initial condition is u of x comma 0 is equals to u0 where u0 is the uniform temperature and condition 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to l and this given differential equation dou u by dou t is equals to a square dou t u by dou x square we call this equation 1 uh, represent one dimensional heat flow equation and way to obtain its solution and to obtain the solution let consider u as function of x and t as c1 cos of kx plus c2 sin of kx c3 e raised to minus a square k square t as the required solution. Then multiplying by c3 inside the bracket we get that is u of xt as c1 c3 as c1 dash suppose cos of kx c2 c3 as another constant c2 dash sin of kx multiplied by e raised to minus a square k square t and we call this as equation 2 and then uh, next part is we required to find the values of c1 dash and c2 dash arbitrary constant values uh, values for the arbitrary constant we put x is equal to 0 this becomes cos 0 cos 0 is 1 sin 0 is 0 therefore we have c1 dash into e raised to minus a square k square t and that is equals to 0 a product of two term is equals to 0 out of which this is not equals to 0 as t is not equals to 0 when x is 0 it implies second term must be 0 that is c1 dash must be 0 uh, this concept already I explained in my previous two videos. I refer that two videos. Then, substituting this value in equation 2, put it in equation 2. We get u as u equals to uh, c1 dash 0, this term becomes 0. We get c2 dash sin of kx multiplied by e raised to minus a square k square t uh, we call this equation 3 then uh, using the second boundary condition in equation 3 using the boundary condition uh, boundary condition is when x is l for all values of t, value of u is 0 in 3. We get uh, the value of u is 0. Right hand side is c2 dash sine of k into x, x is l, multiplied by e raised to minus a square k square t. Uh, here the product of two term is equals to 0. When x is equals to L, t should not be 0. As t is not equals to 0, uh, this term is not equals to 0. Uh, C to dash we require to obtain. Therefore, it implies 
the remaining term that is sin KL must be 0. We get KL is equals to sin inverse of 0. And the value of sin inverse of 0, standard value, we know it. It has n pi. And therefore, we get the value of K as n pi divided by L with n is equals to 1, 2, 3, and so on, integer quantities. And therefore, substituting this value in equation 3, equation 3 becomes Uh, u is equals to c2 dash sine of kx. The value of k is n pi by l into x e raised to minus a square k square n square pi square by is L square into T. From this solution, we write down the most general solution in summation form. U is equals to summation of instead of C to dash, we replace it by a new constant that is C L sine of N pi X by L into E raised to minus N square pi square A square by L square times T and it n changes from 1 to infinity. Uh, we call this equation fifth. Uh, use that condition u of x 0 is equals to u 0 for 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to l in fifth. We get the left hand side is u 0, right hand side is cn summation of uh, sine of n pi by l times x n changes from 1 to infinity e raised to 0 is 1 and therefore we call this equation number 6 uh, equation number 6 right hand side of the equation number 6 RHS uh, represents Half range sine series. As uh, it is 0 to L is the range and term is in terms of the sine. This is nothing but half range sine series where the value of that CN. is given by as per that half range sine series it is 2 by l integral from 0 to l first of all i will write down in terms of f of x uh, sine of n pi x by l its integration with respect to x we try to evaluate this by substituting the value of f of x therefore uh, here it becomes 2 by L integration from f of x is u0 sine of n pi by L times x and its integration with respect to x. Uh, it is equals to 2 by L uh, u0 is constant term with respect to x. We take outside the integration sign. Integration of sign is minus cos of n pi by l x divided by coefficient of x is n pi by l and limits from 0 to l. It is equals to uh, L will get cancelled. We get 2 by n 2 u0 
divided by n pi uh, cancel minus n by changing the limits uh, cos 0 is 1 minus uh, when x is l will get cancelled we have cos of n pi and the value of cos n pi is minus 1 raised to n a standard value a uh, last step is uh, we are getting the value of cn as 2 times u0 divided by n pi uh, 1 minus minus 1 raised to n uh, whenever we have such type of term uh, we have to find two separate values what will happen when n is e1 if we consider any value for n as e1 uh, minus 1 raised to 2 we get plus 1 1 minus 1 we get 0 if n is e1 and when n is odd minus 1 raised to 1 suppose uh, minus 1 raised to 1 is minus 1 that minus and this minus it become plus 1 plus 1 we get 2 2 into 2 we have value as 4u0 divided by n pi if n is odd and as it exists for odd we replace n by its general term as 2n minus 1 while substituting it in equation fifth and therefore final solution is u is equal to u is which is function of x and t as summation from 1 to infinity value of cn is 4u0 divided by n pi we replace n by 2n minus 1 times pi into sine of n pi n is here 2 n minus 1 times pi divided by l x e raised to minus l square n replaced by therefore it is 2 n minus 1 whole square pi square a square divided by l square times t as the required solution one more problem i will discuss on this topic one dimensional heat flow equation if you like my videos please share it as well as subscribe to my channel to get the notification for my new videos for that you have to press the bell icon Thanks, thanks for watching.